Hey everyone, Red here, and it is time for another Res Requested, and for today, we have the Merciless Skill Checks Freddy build. So let's go ahead and break it down. For our first perk, we're going to be bringing Overcharge. Whenever I kick a generator, it will become overcharged. The next survivor interacting with that generator is going to be faced with a tremendously difficult skill check, and failing that skill check will result in an additional 5% loss of progress. Now, if they do succeed, the skill check isn't going to grant any extra progress, but it will prevent the explosion from happening. Next, we have Pop Goes the Weasel. After hooking a survivor for the next 45 seconds, the next generator I kick will lose 25% of its progress. For our third perk, we're bringing out Hex Huntress Lullaby. Survivors will receive an additional 6% regression penalty when missing a skill check while healing or repairing, and each time a survivor is hooked, gain a token. From 1 to 4 tokens, the time between the skill check warning sound and the actual skill check itself becomes shorter, and at 5 tokens, there will be no skill check warning. This should prompt a lot more missed skill checks. And last but not least is Merciless Storm. When a generator reaches 90% progress, survivors working on the generator will be faced with continuous skill checks. If they miss or stop repairing, the generator will be blocked by the entity for 20 seconds. For our add-ons today, we'll be running Blue Dress, which will increase the healing and repair skill check penalties by 4%. Anytime they fail a heal or repair skill check, it will reveal their aura for 4 seconds. And next course we have the red paintbrush. All survivors are going to start the trial in the dream world, and failed skill checks will no longer wake survivors up from that dream world. Overall, this is a fun skill check build. You definitely gotta try it in your games. If you have any build requests, of course, make sure to hit them in the comment section down below. I'm always backed up with builds, but I'm always getting them done. So let's go ahead and move on to today's gameplays. All right, and for our first game, we have Gas Heaven. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Where do we have Tomes on the inside to the left here? I have Claudette going to the gen in the far corner. No one's on the totem at the moment. That totem probably won't last too horribly long this game. All right, we were on this. So everyone went over to my right, but there was someone else maybe. Okay, I'm going to act like I don't see her, and then we'll move over that way. Good. I just don't want her to run off. There we go. Worked out great. We didn't want her to run in advance, so we saved ourselves some time by just acting like we were blind. But that's saying here, we don't want to play in shag. Ooh, and you're pre-dropping them for me. Cool. Uh, I mean, honestly, there's like, what, one more pallet here? I can go ahead and get rid of the pallet. We'll put a snare down. Good. She did not run back to the right, so... Is there... Oh, there is another pallet. Is she gonna throw us immediately? Ooh. That one she didn't want to throw immediately, but we got her too. It feels good. We get the snare down, and we just gotta run her into the snare. Good. And we should have this. That works. And now we actually kind of created this area over here into more of a dead zone. Ooh, Merciless Storm went off over there to the left. You can tell because the gem was highlighted in the white aura. I don't know if I can hook in time and get over there and pop it, but if I can, it'll be amazing. Come on. Oh. Oh, she's going to commit, so she probably has it. Oh, so close. All right, they're going for the save. I'm just going to go ahead and hook up. Well, let's go ahead and hook up here. I see. So, Injured Nia is going to go for the save. Dwight's there. Let's see if I can fake him out. No, he's just going to hold forward and go to that back corner. I really am not going to waste time with doing that. He can go ahead and have that save for free. We'll head back over here. All right, Nia's going to the left. We don't want to run to the left. All right, so Claudette just kind of becomes the target naturally. If I run to the left, we can waste a whole lot more time. And Claudette moving over this way means that, again, there's nothing to work with over here. So, less risk. Always go with the easier option. Now, they did heal up, so Dwight healed the other Nia. 
So you don't have to worry about like a gen popping right away, which is good. And are we still over this way? We can go ahead and set down some snares. Scratch marks are here. But they're on the gen in the middle. Yeah, we can ignore that and then just head here. What do we have? Anything? Ah, I see a bounce landing. That's good use of it. I really can't chase into Shaq. I'll waste a ton of time. And that survivor isn't in Dream World, so it's no value to me. It's kind of a waste of Pop Goes the Weasel there, but... I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, we got Dwight here. And they're, oh, they're going to try and wake up. Good. Nia's going back into the corner here. Now, you might be tempted as a killer to go for the Claudette. But Claudette can, of course, make it to Shaq if we hit her once. So, you want to go for who's, again, the easiest target. Not necessarily who can you get out of the game right now. Because that can also throw a game. Whereas Nia here literally has nothing to run to. She could be the best looper in the world. She still has no, you know, nothing to work with. So we'll take that, and I have a gen right next to me. I don't really want to pop it. I want to try and find a gen that's a little bit more progress. They probably went back to that middle one, because the survivor with balanced landing is always going to feel super safe there. I can maybe catch her off indoors? No. We'll just keep this gen at pretty much zero then. Get her balanced landing out of the way, and then we'll teleport inside, because I might have pushed her onto that uh, totem. Oh! It's Dwight. Never mind. Now he's got to win the 50-50 here. Oh, he's slow vaulting? Awesome. We'll keep the pallet there. The pallet's a good way of kept, you know, keeping a survivor in that area. I have to break this open because there's no hooks around. We don't have basement here, so... Let's go ahead and toss him up on that hook. Okay, they did get the heal off. I can check this gen while teleporting. Good, yeah. This gen really is the only one that has progress at the moment. So if I can just keep it at like 0%, I feel pretty good. Is there any... Oh yeah, they did miss the skill check, so there we go. Which means Hunter Slowby is going to knock that thing down pretty, pretty hard. And... Okay, so we got Claudette. Now we have a good option to go for Claudette here, because again, nothing over here to work with. Though, she'll get a lot of distance for this, for sure. So, it really just depends. Uh, I can kind of commit here, because they still need to go for the save, and one survivor who's injured is running the same way. Oh, they're not injured. Full health Nia is running. She'll probably pre-drop pallet. Yeah. I'll see if I can maybe catch her here. The Nia here needs to come take a hit. Good. Looks like she's going to try to. So we're going to have to play around that. That will slow how much distance she can actually get. And she went back around. Yeah, I can still play around this. Good. This is smart. Yeah, I'm about to just take the hit. Now, oh, they actually both have pallets here. Is there a way I can... She's really... Okay, then, I guess I'll swing. That's like the one she didn't want to pre-drop. I'm kind of surprised. Like, if there was a moment to pre-drop, it was totally right there. And again, just getting to deny this, Jen. You got your bounce landing up again? Yep, good. We'll just keep her exhausted the whole game. That's fine. I really don't need to chase the survivor who gets all the way to Shaq every time. So, Again, if I can avoid playing at Shaq, I almost always will. Especially with like M1 killers. Or basic attack killers. Anybody over here? Oh, hi Dwight. Uh, maybe I can cut him off before he gets to Shaq. 
Ooh, that works. Hey, look at that. We don't even have to come back for the one who keeps dropping with a uh, bounce landing. I wonder if she was just hiding out, trying to get her exhaust back up. That way she could go work on that gen again. Alright, let's get over there and probably pop the gen again. I'm not going to teleport just yet. Huntress Lullaby, by the way, got to five stacks. I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. And she's way over there. I'll just pop it. This is also putting overcharge on it every time. I don't think she'll come this way. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, the one survivor is going to give up. That's fine. This game was uh, definitely an area sprint burst. You know, honestly, if I was swung there, I might have snagged her, but this works. She is in Dream World, so... Oh, thank you. Can I... Yeah. Is there any more pallets on this side? I don't remember. No. Awesome. We'll go ahead and take that and throw them up on the hook. Well, now the fun part is, does Dwight go for the save? Or is he going to go and hide for Hatch? Oh. He actually went for the save. I was kind of surprised about that. They have so much time to get so much distance. It looks like he's making quite the distance over there. Uh... Yeah, he's got so much distance. Oh, huh, I wonder where he got off to. Oh, someone's on the gen over here. Oh, it's him. See, I, I totally lost him. I had no idea where he actually went. And unfortunately, they did get my uh, Huntress Lullaby, but I don't really think it matters at this point. We're going to go ahead and just chase Dwight down until we got him. Unless, of course, Nia pops up somewhere. All right, and he's yeah, he's just going to hold uh, forward to this back corner again. This is kind of what you want to do. You always want to lead the killer away from Jen. If he had more of a team up, this is always the right call, though. You lead away from Jen's if possible. And there we go. All right. And Nia, you are up to bat. I can look at these, teleport, and go to hill. And Dwight is killing himself on hook. Oh, there she is. She was going for it, which is unfortunate. Oh, yeah. In trouble. And there we go. Well, that is the first game out of the way. It was a lot of fun. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next. All right. And Fractured Cow Shed for game number two. This is a pretty rough map. So, we're going to have to play pretty well here. Because a lot of the loops here are intersected, so they all connect. Uh, and if you're running them as survivor, basically around the whole outside of the map are filled with safe loops. No one's in this gen. Hopefully they didn't spawn on Totem. Good. I'm guessing they must be on this generator over here then. Are you breathing? There we go. Cool, I'll get rid of a pal right away. No need to chase anymore. She gave me a pallet. You might have been tempted to chase. I would never chase in that scenario. Someone's over here. We just have a whole bunch of hiding gamers, it looks like. I did hear breathing. There you are. I can maybe teleport in front of her here. If not, like I'm still in a good position. Uh, where are you at? There we go. Yeah. That definitely saved me some time. Not bad. First chase down already. Feels good. And the one server got healed and, of course, went and found herself a way to wake up. Actually, all the survivors are awake now that I look at it. I don't want to pop this gen. It doesn't have enough progress. I want to like hurt a gen that has some decent progress. No. And they're not inside. I could teleport over there, but I kind of want to teleport back to hook if possible. We can swing out this way. Oh yeah, this is definitely going more. Let's go ahead and hit this with pop and put overcharge on it. I hear breathing. Oh yeah. We got ourselves some stealthy gamers. She's faking it, so am I. And 
And what do you think? I'm going to guess that she probably has decisive strike, so I'm not going to pick her up. And we can go for this uh, easier pickup instead. Assuming I can get the pickup. All right, do we have a hook nearby? Um, not exactly where I want. Which gen was that? The back corner. Yeah, I guess I never really made my way over there. I don't really want to pick up. Uh, is anyone else here? Someone was. There's scratch marks. They go up. No, they're making their way around. There we go. We can definitely go for uh, Leon here. Oh, we're all, they're all here. Okay, good. So she's going for the pickup. Another free pallet. We can basically force her to come take the hit or look to take this player to a stage two hook. I'll take my hit. That's fine. I don't want to play around it too much. Because that can waste a lot of time. Oh, the mini teleport kind of helped out. There we go. And we can go ahead and put overcharge on this. Oh, just kidding. I'll take my stun silence. There we go. Hmm. Now, I could have kicked that gen after, but I really want to hold on pop for a more important gen. Or at least where I know they're at. This is a little bit better. Yeah, it's about almost 50%. We got someone to the left as well. There we go. Oh, she'll drop this pallet. Alright, so what we're going to do instead is just kick this and, of course, uh, just go ahead and kick the gen over here as well. There goes the overcharge miss. There goes a whole bunch of skill check misses. Oh my god. I think one of those was a vault. One was a skill check miss. Another was a save. Good. I don't think she has dead hard, but I'll wait. Alright. And they healed up, so we have time to hook. And they missed the skill check over there, which is like 11%. Additional plus the green dress add. I think it's an, like an additional 15% whenever they miss a a skill check. Though keep in mind, I don't know the exact math on it. Someone on my totem? Yes. Come on, no. Darn. Well, I can't get two games where it lasts for five tokens, but it did do quite a lot of work for the skill check misses that did happen. Uh, I can come back over here, kick this gen as well, pop right. Yeah. I, <laughs> this is Michaela. Wait. There you are. Alright. I have zero interest really in chasing this with the vault being here. Because again, if I chase too far away from this gen, I don't get to pop it. I can kind of look for it, but I don't want to spend too much time over here. It really depends. Oh yeah, she went all the way over there. Uh, it's not really worth. Here we go. Ah, she made it right over here. Yeah, it was a really good thing I canceled that. I see. So she must have had sprint burst like 9 9. Yeah. Again, zero interest. We're not going to chase that shack. The only time I'm really going to come to shack if I have to is to like kick a gen. I'm just going to swing for it. Nice. Survivors, when they get hit with the pool, they know they slow down drastically. And typically, they'll pre throw any pallet or they'll pallet camp to try and stun the killer. Oh, hey, look what gem we get to pop again. This Michaela's gotta be getting so frustrated. <laughs> Jen's just getting chunked down again. Alright, let's get into this one going as well. Overcharge is still worth it, and if you have any gens there near a hook, feel free to kick them because the worst thing is that someone tries to come save while you're hooking. Oh, they missed the skill check. And they're going for the save. Cool. And she's making her way to Shaq. I might be able to make a play here. Oh. Hi. 
you are pointing, but you are definitely a pre-drop patty. And you just pre-drop Shaq. Alright. I'm gonna call it out. She's gonna get to this pallet. She's gonna camp it and throw it. Look at that. See, the survivors here, by the way, that do that, if you do chase them, by the way, too much, it can still throw the game. We don't necessarily want to do that. But if we can get small chases like that, we waste so much. Ooh, so close. There we go. You know, surprisingly enough, I don't think this is, like, any dead hard lobby. I don't need to kick that again. It really could, just depends on where they're at. I can make my way over to Shack and then maybe... Oh, I was going to say I could teleport over there, but not now. Ooh, maybe we can push him off this gen. Yes, awesome. That's great. So, I don't really have a place to use my pop. What I can do, because that gen's be locked down for 15 seconds, is I can hook him, wait for the gen, and then pop the gen after Merciless Storm is done. Here we go. Maybe get a little extra damage. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, my main focus is to get back over to this generator. Cool. Cool. Big Pops and Merciless Storm just denied Shaq. Well, hello, gamer. Remember all those pallets you pre-dropped? I guarantee... Well, don't need that anymore. I was going to say I was going to chase her, but Jill became available. And like I said, always go for the easier option. This also means I can pop and put overcharge on this generator as well. Anyone over here? Oh yeah, he just got off the gen. Let's kick it. He goes around. There's blood on the ground there. So he's in this room? Oh yeah, he went to the locker. Okay. Hi, buddy. You okay? Uh, oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be like a head-on. I was ready, but then like I didn't get stunned. All right, now can I get him into the basement and deny the shack generator? Come on. Let me go. Ooh, another generator is lined up with it. Let me see if I can move. Yeah, we got it. Cool. There we go. And again, just shutting that gen down. Now, it was almost done. I'm assuming... Hmm... I don't want to really spend too much time looking. I can check the locker real quick and that'll be about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna check both of them. She could be in the other one for all I know, but again, that's really risky. I would, if, you know, the killer checks one locker and you're on that one, you normally would hop out and move. We're not there. Oh, this Shen's going again. Ah, Michaela. Well, there's no need to kick Gen Z anymore. We got Michaela, and I think she's dead on hook. She has this one pallet here that she can play on. Oh, I might get her here then. Oh, yeah. Cool, I will take it. It's quite a tremendous slow whenever you hit a, a puddle, so... We can kind of play around some of these. At least, especially against survivors who don't have dead hard. I'm going to teleport to this gen instead because she's going to move away from Shaq, right? Yes. She might have fixated sprint burst. That might be what it is. So she walked away last time. She definitely has some distance. We have a pallet here I know I have to play around. I want to push her into the corner here. She'll pre-drop it, though. Yeah. Smart. She knows she's going to take a hit and she doesn't want to be cornered. Ah! And what else do I have up here? Uh, Not a lot to play with. Let's go ahead and put a puddle down in case she vaults back. She is looking back. Maybe I can get her on this. 
No. She kind of just held forward. She might have Shaq up ahead. I mean, not Shaq, but she might have uh, Hatch up ahead. I have no idea. Well, let's just hope we get lucky here. Oh, she messed up. Yeah, we, we, got, we got to tell her no, because, you know, pretty drop Patty. And she did point at me, which mildly insulted me. And there we go, though. Another 4K. It feels really good overall. The build was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend, you know, trying it out in your games. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Much love, and as always, I'm Red, and I'm signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.